Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. So we got some news upcoming changes to the ranked system in Hearthstone. I was kind of hoping for some balance changes, but maybe those are still on the way. I don't know. But what we got doesn't affect us too much, those of us that play the game already and quite a bit, but it does affect people who play more casually, and it absolutely affects people that just start playing Hearthstone in a really big way. So they're changing the way that the resetting system works and some of the low ranks. So right now, uh, I don't exactly know how many ranks you drop, but it is a lot. It's, I don't know, it might be like 10, 12, something like that. So if you're like rank five, ladder resets, you're like rank 17 all of a sudden. You know, if you don't play for two ladders, you're you're literally at rank 25. Um, so you're playing against people who have never played the game before. What kind of experience do you think they might have against you? Probably not a good one. So Blizzard is addressing that more directly, and um, instead of dropping, I don't know how many ranks, a lot, you're only going to drop four ranks when these changes go through at the end of each season. So if you're like rank 9, you're going to go to rank 13, which is more reasonable. They're also making the first few ranks uh, the same number of stars required. So uh, you're, you're going to need five stars to go through chicken rank, to go through the other ranks. So it's going to be a slower grind in the early ranks, but the idea is that there shouldn't be any veteran players or good players in those ranks like ever. So, um, I mean, honestly, I'm not super confident that's actually going to work out because I think there's a lot of players that play Hearthstone quite casually these days, at least ranked mode. But they said that they ran a lot of simulation, like, you know, one, three, five, one year simulations of these changes, and they're pretty happy with them. So I guess we got to trust that. I guess I got to trust that. Sure, let's see what it's going to be like. Also, for the end of month rewards, if you want the card back, all you have to do is win five games. So that's that's a pretty big deal. Um, before you had to get past rank 20, you basically had, on accounts you didn't really play, or if you didn't really play ladder and you wanted the card back, the only time you'd play standard would be just to absolutely crap on noobs in those early few ranks. And again, you can kind of imagine what experience they would have with so many people doing just that. So all these changes, in my opinion, are great. They are going into the game not this season, not next season, but in the March season is my understanding. So I don't know why that's going to take a while, but in any case, they are going to happen and it should make the new player experience a lot better. And to kind of give you some idea of the problem, as some of you guys might actually not be aware of this problem, um, I do play my alt accounts from time to time. I actually missed out. I didn't play them at all in some of the last few months. I didn't even get the card back. I didn't even get rank 20 on some of my alt accounts. I was pretty sad about that. So actually, just the previous night, I was going through my alt accounts and trying to get rank 20 on each one before the month was over so I could get these rewards. And... Um, obviously, on my alt accounts, I don't have very good decks, but I, I imagine I'm a pretty good player. So, yeah, I beat most of the noobs, but there weren't that many. Most players were, as you will see, my opponent was. Pretty good players playing pretty good decks. Game after game after game after game. It is absolutely a problem, and it's certainly about time Blizzard fixed it. So, good on them, and maybe after March, we might see an influx of new players in Hearthstone. Who knows? It's actually, I think with these changes, it's a pretty good game state right now. If the new player experience is going to be good on ladder, it's already pretty good in dungeon run. It's already pretty good in like the adventure content, the brawls arena. Well, you're going to get stomped, but new players are pretty intimidated by that to begin with. So it is what it is. Enjoy the game and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I kind of want sticky minions before I uh, keep that. Right? Uh, uh, uh. right. Seems decent. Definitely more valuable than that crap that he just played, so. 
Yeah, this is the free play account. This is the least developed free to play account. That's decent. Rank 23. Turn 4. Frost Nova Doomsayer. It's like two control mages in a row. Jesus, dude. That is really not cool. Yeah, I am doing the free to play account. Too. This is the free to play experience. Oh, good to know. Mostly basic cards so far. Does he really? I don't know about that. Let the pain speak to me. So many Mostly basic cards, right? Mostly basic. As in, totally not basic in any way. <laughs> yeah, Blizzard goes through Divine Shield. It's not like Water Elemental. It freezes. Just freezes. It doesn't have to do damage to trigger. Okay. This is our time, boys. This is it. <laughs> Okay. Get in there and fight, maggot. Let's see if there's some vaporize action. There is ice barrier. <laughs> yeah, I got legend uh, yesterday. Part of the start of the YouTube video, man. How did you miss that? It's clear cut. I wonder what that is. Kill him through flame strike, so, so many possibilities. Okay. Get in there and fight, maggot. Mostly basic, guys. Mostly basic. I appreciate that. Good. It's okay guys, I can't lose stars at this rank. It's not a big deal. 